All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to find an equation that goes to the point four negative 10, but is parallel to the point of y equals seven eighths x minus three. So the first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is understand what exactly is parallel lines. Well, remember parallel lines are two lines that are never going to touch. So I was just gonna kind of sketch parallel lines here. All right, one thing you can look at is parallel lines, if I was gonna find what we call a slope triangle, which means the change in their, you know, change between two points is the rise and run. What you'll notice with parallel lines is that's gonna be exactly the same. Therefore, they're gonna have the exact same slope. So if I wanna find a new equation, what I'm gonna do is I know my slope is gonna be exactly the same. So the way I'm gonna solve this problem is by using point slope form, which is y2 minus y1 equals m times x2 minus x1. Now, I want to find a new equation, so therefore, I need to find a new slope. Well, my slope, as we know, is going to be the same for 7 eighths, 7 eighths, as 7 eighths. Then, I have two y's and I have two x's. Well, I don't have two y's and two x's. I only have one x and one y. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to use these two x's, and I'm just going to erase my y2, my x, my y2 and x, x, y2 and my x2. And now, what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to plug in my x1, y1 into this equation. So that what I do is I get y minus a negative 10 equals 7 eighths times x minus 4. And then what I'm going to do is this can combine to y plus 10 equals, use uh, my distributive property, 7 uh, eighths x minus and let's see, this is going to cancel out, so it'll be seven and a half halves. Then what I'd like to do is subtract the 10 on both sides. So I get y equals a seven eighths x minus seven halves minus 10. Now obviously we need to get my denominator, we need to get this to be a denominator two. So I'm gonna put it over one and multiply by two over two. So therefore I'll have seven halves, that's a, that's a negative seven, eh, well, I'm just gonna spread it. So I have a seven halves minus 20 over two. Well, that's gonna give me a, um, yes, okay. So that's going to, uh, this would make, well, that is a negative. So therefore, I'll have a negative seven minus 20, which will give me a negative 27 over two. So my final equation, y equals a seven eighths x minus 27 over two. And that is how you find a line parallel um, to this line going through the point for negative 10.